Okay, so a bit of probability here. Um, there are only red counters, blue counters, white counters, and black counters in a bag. The table shows the probability that a counter taken at random from the bag will be red or blue. And it says that the number of white counters in the bag is the same, right, is the same as the number of black counters in the bag. Work out the probability that Tanya takes a white counter. Now, we have to remember that the total probability of taking any counter, of taking a counter, would be 1. So if I was to add up all these probabilities, the total would be equal to 1. But I'm also told that the probability of getting white and the probability of getting black is the same, because the number of white counters and the number of black counters are the same. So that means the probabilities must be the same. So if that is 0 0.2 and that is 0 0.5, well, that means that in total for here, we must have a total of 0 0.3 left. The probability of getting white or black must be 0 0.3, which means that the probability of getting white must be 0 0.15. The probability of black must be 0 0.15 as well. So the probability that Tanya takes a white counter is 0 0.15. Same number of counters, same probability. Okay, there are 240 counters in the bag. Work out the number of red counters in the bag. Well, if the probability of getting a red counter is 0 0.2, that means there's a 20% 20 20 of them must be red. So I need to work out what is 20% of 240. Or you could just do 240 multiplied by 0 0.2. Um, so 10% is going to be 24, which means 10% a 20% will be double that, 48. Okay, so 10% is 24. That means 20% is 48.